Okay, here's a quick look at putting the, together the uh, Hubble palette in uh, Photoshop for those of you that aren't using Pixinsight. I took three shots last night and I've uh, calibrated, registered, and stacked these in Pixinsight. Saved them as 16-bit TIFFs and brought them over here. Uh, so what we want to do is create a new frame here clipboard color mode we want RGB okay so take our HA control A is select all control C is copy come over to the new image so our HA is going to go into the green channel so we'll control V that pastes it into the green channel uh, take our O3 Control-A, Control-Copy. O3 is going to go into our blue channel. Control-V for a paste. Come over and pick up our S2. Control-A, Control-Copy. We will paste that into our red channel. Okay, that's it. Hit RGB, boom, there it is. Okay, I had done a mass stretch in Pixinsight. inside. I didn't want to stretch it too much, but... Let's make it so you can see it. I'm not going to save this, so I'm not going to get real fancy. I just want you to be able to see it. And I clip it a little bit. Okay, that doesn't look very appealing. Let's go ahead and go into selective color. And we are going to go to our greens. And we are going to pull the C and out of it, and a little bit of magenta. And then we're going to go down to our yellows and pull all the C and, and add a little magenta. You can play with this to your heart's content. But Say that's okay. That's giving us the goldish color. That's the HA showing out. Okay. Let's try and bring out some of the blue. Adjustments. Selective color. Go down to the C ands. And we're going to pull all the yellow. That should start turning some of this blue. And pulling out the yellow. And okay, from there you can do a lot of sharpening and saturation and a million different things. I'll look at this and uh, I might try pulling the blue up a little bit and see how that looks. Yeah, throw a little more blue in there. And again, you can go back and back forth into that uh, selective color and then just adjust it to your heart's content. Oops. Scans. Trying to get a little more blue out of it. Do a little. Uh, Anyway, that's basically how you're going to get your Hubble palette. If I was going to do a bicolor, which this, this does make a very nice bicolor, um, you can take and basically do the same process on RGB. Only this time, only control copy your HA would go into your red channel. God damn it, come on. Control V. Your HA would go into your red channel, and then your O3, Control A, Control Copy, would go into your green and your blue channel. So control V for paste. Control V for paste. 
and there's your bicolor. Uh, it looks pretty nice. That works good on a lot of nebulas that uh, have a lot of uh, hydrogen alpha in them. When you do something like this, uh, it's a good filter to have Hostel of Vista Green. Uh, that'll do a nice job on your background if you just come in there. That'll clean up a lot of that green tinge in there. That looks pretty nice. So that's the basics of combining the together. There's a million other things you can do to process, but uh, that's a good start right there. I've got a million different little plugins. One I like from Starzone is her Star Killer. If I'm in Photoshop and Pixelsight, I would use a, a star mask and a morphology tool. But I found mine in here. This does a nice little job of kicking down the background stars a little bit. Kind of gives you a better view of the nebula itself. And you can adjust it with your opacity slider, how much. That's about the highlights.